千里之行，始于足下。A journey of a thousand miles begins beneath the feet. We now gather in the Tao to travel the journey together. Welcome to Tao Talks with Derek Lin, where we take a deep dive into the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. Once upon a time, in ancient China, there was a man. He had a goal. He wanted to increase his influence in society. That meant he wanted to expand his social circle into high society, the nobles and the notables. So he decided that he was going to be the host of a lavish banquet, and he would invite. The most distinguished members of society to be his guests. So on the night of the banquet, this man became increasingly anxious as the host. Why? Well, it turns out that it was almost time to start the banquet, but only about half of the guests that he had invited. Showed up, only about half arrived. He was anxious because this was not looking very good, and it would not look good for him if his banquet was half empty. So he paced back and forth. He's hoping for more people to arrive, and without thinking, he said to himself, "What is happening?" The people who should be here aren't here. Why? Now, unbeknownst to him, he did not realize his guests in the banquet hall heard him talking to himself. They could hear him clearly. Some of them thought, "Well, if the people who should be here aren't here, doesn't that mean the people who are here, like me, should not be here?" Feeling insulted by this, they decided to depart quietly. After a moment, the host looked around and he suddenly noticed he had even less guests than before. Some of them had left. He panicked, and he said, "What now? The people who should leave have left. Why?" Again. This was heard by his remaining guests, and they all thought, "Well, if the people who shouldn't leave have left, and I'm still here, doesn't mean that I should leave." Is that what he's trying to say? So, like the previous group of people that had already left, they also decided they wanted to be somewhere else. So most of the guests had all left. Only one guest remained. It was a friend of his, a friend of the host. They both looked at the empty banquet hall, and it was a most embarrassing sight. So the friend tried to console him. You really should think about what you're going to say before you speak up, especially with this group of people. He said. You know, they're not as understanding as I am. I know you, but what you say to them, if it's something wrong, it can be really hard to take it back. So the friend thought that the host would thank him for this advice. Instead, the man wailed. He said, "No, I didn't mean for them to leave. Not them." His friend took offense at this. He said, "Coldly, I see. You did not mean for them to leave, so you meant for me to leave. Is that it? Very well. It shall be exactly as you wish." He turned angrily. He left without another word or a backward glance. 
So that is the story of what I call choosing words with care. It illustrates how the mouth can get us into trouble. So let me uh, see if I can highlight the points. This is all related to the line, close the mouth. Why close the mouth? Well, as you can see, because the mouth can be the source of misfortune. What we say can be the cause of disasters, even if you don't mean it, or your intentions are good. What we say can cause the opposite of what we intend. Because that is the case, when it comes to talking, oftentimes, less is more. So you see, the more we think about it, the more the advice from Laozi makes sense. If you cannot keep your mouth shut, you're likely to create all kinds of problems for yourself. It would be better to say less or nothing at all. Now, I want to flip this around the other way and consider our interactions with other people. This is applying the story to us as we deal with others, as we talk to other people. Can we all be perfect in our communication? Probably not. So let me point this out. There's going to be some times, in fact, I think a lot of times, when we overthink what other people have said. They might have said something carelessly. They might have also, like the host in the story, said something without thinking. And nowadays, we would use an expression like, uh, oh, he said the quiet part out loud. He shouldn't have said that, but he did, right? And it can be humorous, as it was in this story. This happens, it's a part of life, it's something to be expected. So we can overthink what others have said. Now, the reminder for us is that, well, we too can be rather thoughtless in our expressions. And this is why I decided to give the story the title, Choosing Words with Care. And sometimes consider the possibility that not only less is more, but also perhaps silence is golden. That if I say nothing at all, I may actually improve my situation because for sure, if I say something that causes problems, I may be digging a hole deeper for myself. When that happens, the only cure, the only solution is to pause, is to stop digging. Our meeting has come to an end, but the journey continues on. Let us travel safely. Until next time, may the Tao fill you with peace and happiness.